Okay, everybody, this is Mooney Dashcam. If you enjoy these videos, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. I also have an Instagram and TikTok, both at Mooney Dashcam. All right, so today we're in Manhattan. We're going to be talking about one of the most infamous mob murders ever, the murder of Big Paul Castellano at Spark Steakhouse. So, the night was December 16th, 1985. Big Paul Castellano had a early evening meeting at Spark Steakhouse, meeting with a bunch of other bosses and associates and stuff of that nature. So, he heads there with his bodyguard slash underboss, Thomas Bellotti. Little does he know, there's been a conspiracy to have him killed for a little while now. Now, the person who wanted him killed was John Gotti, and I'm sure a bunch of other people also wanted him killed. But John Gotti wanted his seat, his position of power, since he was the boss of the Gambinos. And also, Paul Castellano told him to stop his drug business. Gotti did not want to stop his drug business because that was probably one of his most money-making businesses. So Paul told him to stop, John Gotti ignored it, and in turn, John Gotti attracted attention from the feds, which is exactly what Paul Castellano was trying to avoid. So John knew that if Paul Castellano got any word of that, that Paul would try and have John Gotti killed. So John Gotti was thinking, all right, let me go after Paul first, which is unheard of. It is against the rules of the commission the Mafia Commission, I've spoke about this before, it's all, pretty much all the heads of the families that try and keep everything in order amongst the families. That's against the rules to kill a boss, especially a boss of your own family. It's kind of wild. Alright, so like I said, the night was December 16th, 1985, he's heading there. Now, John Gotti and Sammy the Bull Gravano are in the same car, heading to the location along with the hit squad that actually carries out the murder, and then a backup hit squad, and then Gravano and Gotti are there in case those both fail. So they had a bunch of um, bunch of fail safes just in case it didn't go down the way they expected to. All right. I realized that I couldn't make it that way, so I'm going to go back to Third Avenue. I'm going to loop back around because I want to park exactly where. Gotti and Gravano were parked to watch it all go down. Alright, so they're pulling up. They're, Gravano and Gotti are driving to Sparks to see, to watch it go down. As they're pulling up a light before Sparks Steakhouse, they get stuck in the red light next to Paul Castellano and the underboss. Now, Gravano sitting in the car looks at Gotti and goes, Gotti, they're right next to us. He said in the car, if they look over, I'm shooting right now. I'm blasting them right now, which would have been crazy. But good thing they didn't look over. Gotti radios his guys that, all right, they're at this light. They're going to be the second car, or they're going to be the first car coming down. Be ready for them. So he pulls up. They pull off to the corner of uh, 3rd Avenue and I believe it's East 46th. And... Castellano pulls up in front. As they get out of the car, they have a hit squad of three guys, one being John Carniglia, in white trench coats and black Russian hats. That's what's said. People dispute that a little bit, but that's kind of the common story that everyone knows and has heard of. So, three guys come up. Apparently, John Carniglia was the one to put the final shot into Castellano's head. And they both laid them out there, and they run off, and I believe they get picked up in a car and shoot off. And Gotti and Gravano are there pretty much to make sure that this took place. So they drive by real slow, get a good look at um, the underboss and Castellano, and shoot off. Now the, the backup squad, backup hit squad that had another three people involved. Let's turn here. They went down East 45th. Were um, Dominic Pozzonia, 
Anthony Rampino and Angelo Regero. Those are the three backup guys. They wanted to make sure that this went down. Because if they tried to pull this off and it didn't go as planned and he lived, they were all dead. Them and everyone involved was dead. I believe there were 10 guys uh, in the meeting room before all this went down. Now, most of what I'm getting here, most of this information is from Sammy the Bulls uh, from when he testified at court against John Gotti because if you're familiar, um, Sammy the Bull did become an informant, which we all know I don't support. If you're going to do it, don't rat everyone out. Trying to loop around here to like follow the exact way that Gotti and Granato. Where are you supposed to stop at this light right here? For what? Interesting. I mean, look at this stuff. This is crazy. So now, after Castellano was killed, it was said that you knew who ran the city. The mafia was everywhere, on every corner, every um, social club. They were outside, standing around their cars, just making themselves known this was the biggest thing to happen ever in recent history in the mafia. It was wild. So... After a few very tense meetings among captains, it was time to elect a new boss. Frankie DeChico got up and nominated John Gotti when they were at like, this was like the third meeting. Um, and they went around the table to see who everyone nominated. Everyone nominated Gotti. Of course, at the time, I mean, it was thought that he committed the crimes, but it was never really fully uh, admitted from either of them. This was two weeks after the hit. John Gotti is named the new boss. So Gambino messengers were sent out to all the other four families to get approval of the new boss. All the families gave their blessing, including the Genovese family, but they weren't happy that a commission rule was broken and said someday someone would have to answer for that. Uh, Gotti shortly after promoted Gravano to captain and then consigliere, which is like the third highest... Um, position. Wow, bro. I'm gonna blow two lights. Interesting. Okay. Alright. I'm pulling up here in a minute. So, I'd like to break down exactly where... So, it said they were parked at the northeast corner of 3rd and East 46th. We'll park there too. We'll get the exact spot. So now I believe this next light is the light that they pulled up next to them at. And right here, this guy's gonna be a little annoyed with me. Right here is probably where they pulled up. Can't go in the exact spot, but, because cars are parked there. But as you can imagine, that spark steakhouse, exactly where this went down. I'm gonna add all the pictures of the murder scene. If you're into this at all, I'm sure you've seen plenty of stuff about this. Let's see if there's anything I missed here. Yeah, Spark Steakhouse address is 210 East 46th Street in Manhattan. The murder took place at 526 p.m. And this rocked New York. This rocked... Well, there was actually a more recent um, mob boss that was killed in 2019. The 
first one since Castellano. And it was kind of, everyone was like, wow, I thought the stuff was over with. But apparently it wasn't. All right, let's go by real slow, just like, just like Gotti and Gravano did, just to check up on the bodies. And then apparently they sped off down this road and turned on the second avenue. All right, that's pretty much everything I have to tell you about Big Paul Castellano getting killed by John Gotti. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you appreciate it if you would subscribe. I also have an Instagram and TikTok, like I mentioned earlier, both at Mooney Dashcam. If you want to check those out. All right, see you in the next one.